If you want to get good at something, it really helps to test yourself. In one study, researchers found that students earned an average A- grade on material that had been presented in class once and subsequently quizzed three times, versus a C plus on material that had been presented precisely the same way and reviewed three times but not quizzed. It's the act of forcing yourself to retrieve the information from memory that accelerates the learning process. So in this video, I'm introducing a handwritten quiz and explaining why it's important. Here's the thing. Learning something new is hard. If it feels easy, then it may suggest you're not actually absorbing the concepts. For example, when I present an income statement and balance sheet on the screen and explain what both do, it's easy to claim you understood the content. But if I delete the line item descriptions on the left-hand side, could you recreate it? And if you could, once you filled it out, could you define each of the words concisely? For people new to accounting and finance, I find the answer is generally no. You may have thought that you could until I actually deleted the information and you found yourself staring at empty cells. This is known as a fluency illusion. You believe you understand it because watching video and reading text is easier than retrieving the information from memory yourself. Research has shown that the human mind prefers study methods that create a false sense of mastery. Practices like cramming, highlighting, and rereading passages. Successful learning, however, requires incorporating more engaged forms of practice. Consider that in Socrates' day, texts were written without lowercase letters, spaces, or punctuation. Before the tablet, internet, and printing press, texts appeared on long scrolls like this. Why make it so difficult to read? Well, in a time when books and paper were scarce, memory reigned supreme. And reading without spaces and punctuation improved memory because it was difficult. At the time, writing with spaces and punctuation was viewed by some as the invention that would kill memory and make people dumb. Because reading in this format required toiling with the script. You had to painstakingly pull it apart in your mind to understand what was written. And only then would you get the message. And it goes further than that. You also had to understand the context as well because a combination of letters could have multiple meanings. Consider this text, which could read, Godzilla is nowhere, or Godzilla is now here. If Hollywood has taught us anything, it's that despite being absolutely enormous, Godzilla can appear in an instant. So it's important to know which is which. I'll give you one more example that surprised me. If you were given the choice between a textbook where all the text appears in focus or one where all the text is blurry, you would most likely pick the former. But research has shown that you would retain more knowledge if you committed to reading the blurry text. The point of all of this is to encourage you to work through the exercises and take the quizzes on ASM. Testing and feedback will accelerate the learning process. It may feel like you're learning more slowly, but the opposite is true. Which is why I created the handwritten quiz and several of the other exercises on this platform. One additional example includes a three-statement model where only the inputs have been provided. Built correctly, it will match this key, which has had all of the formulas deleted to test your skill set. And I really like this exercise because a three-statement model requires linking the three primary financial statements, and it's the core of most financial models. If you understand exactly how this works and you can articulate it convincingly, it communicates that you also understand how businesses work. All right, team, that's all for now. Please download the notes and work through the quiz. Thanks for watching.